They called it Omgarok. Victory. Out of arrogance or optimism. They hoped to earn a victory for the Dwarven people by recreating Karadin's research. But the Taig was abandoned. The researchers lost. The Deep Road swallowed Omgarok in the dream of reclaiming our former glory. While the Dark Spawn ravaged the surface, we sent an expedition to uncover the Taig. My brother was with them. They never returned. I write to you, Warden, because you have accomplished things others have declared impossible. Help me find my brother and bring him home. This is a matter of great sensitivity and I can trust no one but you. Ever your humble servant, Jarek Dace. Hello again, it's time for Game of the Week. For this week it is a Dragon Age Origins DLC called The Golems of Ognorok. House Day sacrificed many men to discover this place. Any knowledge found here should be ours, to do with as we please. Of course, Brogan is my primary concern, but Omgarok hides secrets. Great ones. King Balin told me you were the one to look for. He said if anyone could save Brogan, you could. An expedition of over 20 men doesn't just disappear. There's something in there. And I'm guessing it's not friendly. Just be prepared for anything. Amgarok is not too far ahead. So this is DLC on Rock. It just came out August 10th. It's a separate campaign for Dragon Age Origins. You can import your character from Dragon Age Origins Awakening or from Origins itself, wherever you like. I took my character that has finished Awakenings and put it in there. Uh, it's, a two hour, it's about two hours long. You get a campaign for playing it on hard. It's meant to be a little more difficult than the others. Um, there are going to be quite a bit of spoilers in this because, frankly, the story is not that thick or deep. So pretty much you know going in there that um, you're, there's this monster named the Harvester that has ripped people's faces off and killed all these people in this expedition. So you pretty much know at the end you're going to fight the Harvester, so I don't think I'm spoiling much by showing you this. Um, this of course is looking at the rune crafting. Is that the control rod for a golem? Any of the stuff you carry uh, all right, all right. from your imported character comes on, so pretty much if you import a character with lots of health packs, or sorry, poultices I should say, and potions and stuff, that's great because you're going to need them and there's just not anyone to buy stuff from really in this. Um, as you can, if you're curious about my character, my character is a rogue that is actually wearing full plate and I use him as a tank. He can DPS and uh, carry aggro. It's a interesting combination they developed. It this does work on hard as I'll show you. I did get the achievement for beating this on high difficulty. curse he's here I can see him he's still alive I hope you're right warden I'm not leaving this place without him I'm going to save you little brother just hold on now this is an important part of the DLC as you push these pedestals it opens up different uh, portions of the fade Multicolors of the fade, so you need to be in the right kind of fade in order to move through certain doors and through certain areas. And then there is a puzzle later on for you to use. As you're seeing here, this is my rogue uh, tank, or rogue knight, as I like to call them, even though there aren't knights in this game, uh, tanking this guy solo. So you can see the rest of the party is down. This is when I was just learning the new characters they give you. I should mention that none of the characters from Dragon Age Awakenings or Dragon Age Origins are imported with you. You simply get your character. Everyone, they give you different characters to use for this. Yeah, okay. 
Just slowly take him down. Later on you're going to have to be learn how to use your uh, characters properly because you will not get through the final fight, which I honestly found more difficult than, say, the Arch, the Archdemon of Dragon Age Origins. This is a quickly good achievement. That's what you get for upgrading your golem completely. If I just slow it down so you can get a look at it. Now a quick look at the uh, end boss fight here. Once again, th this is going to spoil the ending, so if you don't want to have spoilers, don't watch it. In this boss fight, pretty much, he will trigger the fade where he's pretty much unstoppable. You need to hit that pedestal in order to break out or you won't be able to beat him. He fights in two stages. This is just a quick look at the first stage. Once you beat him, it comes out as a super fast, uh, small, small stage, and no. then once you're done, this is the end of the DLC. Down. Not now. Time to go, Derek. The forge is destroyed, like Darien wanted. The creature is dead. There could be other notes, more information to. No, Derek. Not worth more death. So this is the game of the week: Golems of Ogmarok, or Dragon Age Origins. That's it. It's over. Everything's lost. No, brother. We're still alive. Let's go home. <laughs>